The day somebody like Peter Obi, somebody like Showare, somebody like Dele Farrell to me becomes president of Nigeria. And me and you know that to, to that country is gonna be better. Hmm. Go and check what happened in Nigeria in the 70s. When Nigeria gained independence, how many professionals left Europe to go back to Nigeria? Some people in this this group of people and listening to you now will tell you my my dad them that studied in the 60s and late early uh, uh, 60s 50s. Mm-hmm. As soon as Nigeria gained independence, left Europe and went back to Nigeria because Nigeria was better. Hmm. And most of yeah, most people yeah, listening to you, like, uh, there are jobs waiting for you before you even left school. It's not even jobs waiting for you. You wake up in the morning, you see somebody that look like you. You speak your local dialect. Mm. You drink the water, the sun hits you. You run around, nobody chasing you, nobody asking you, guy, uh, you're supposed to be at work. You know that you're living within a society where everything works the way you don't have to ask questions. You don't have to say, oh, you're facing racism, you're facing this one, you're facing that one. Everything was working. Most professionals in Europe left Europe and went back to Nigeria in the 70s and late and early 80s. The Europeans learned one thing from there. If these people go back again a second time, we are finished. Go and check your NHS. Mm. 20% of the top doctors are Nigerians and Indians. Not only in Nigeria, not only in, in the UK. Go all over Europe and be checking it. And you will realize the Im- economic impact of your country getting better. Yeah, you needed to see all the analysis they were doing on this uh, Dangote refinery that if Nigeria should stop importing and Africa stop importing uh, finished products, there are so have many, not so many one? European have, countries that will pr- partially go bankrupt because it depends. Have they not shut down the one? They've shut down the refinery in, in Scotland just recently. Yeah. Since Dangote came on upstream, they shut down one in, in Scotland. They're going to shut the one in Malta, they're going to shut it down. Those, those I was making people, different those, analysis, so, and I was like, ah, how come they are so more concerned about this than the refinery in, uh, in Europe than the, the people in uh, Nigeria are actually thinking of it? I saw that, and I was like, okay, this yes. is going to really cause a lot of uh, economic uh, wreck in some places, because it's not only that Nigeria is, that is importing the product all over Africa. And if Nigeria should get it right, begin to supply other African countries, they would have to actually find other means. No, let me tell you one thing. Yeah, hmm. the moment Dangote built that refinery, yeah, I know he didn't build it by himself anyway. He took money from the Nigerian government, hmm. but it's one of the best things that has happened in Nigeria since independence. Hmm. It just shows that we can do it. Because how did they convince the rulers of Nigeria to never make their refineries work? How did they convince them that importing it is better than the Potako refineries working? They did. What they refineries did. My working? Go. My, my ego. My ego. The uh-huh. same way they convince people that doing Yoruba nation with you, mm. that working with Tinubu was better than doing Yoruba nation. The same way they convince us people. Wow. Some people don't have moral. Some people have never seen money before. Mm. Some people, the moment you put 10 million pounds in front of them, they forget their, their, their values. They don't have ethics. They don't have no integrity. Mm. And that is what happens. And what you're seeing there is what will happen if Dangote refinery keep working, I guarantee you in the next three to f- the, after 2027, Tinubu will try to shut down that, that Dangote refinery. Reason why I'll tell you he wants to shut it down. Yeah? Yep. These guys have stolen from the country. They, instead of investing in the country, they are invested abroad. Sure. They are now converting us, the country, to a market where they sell everything they, they made with their money. Hmm. Dangote is the first person to come into the country and add value and sell within the country. Notice, right. till today to tomorrow, Dangote will never tell you how much he's selling his petrol. Not because he cannot tell you how much he wants to sell the petrol. Because the condition they gave him, which I believe is the negotiation that the presidency got involved, was do not release the price you're selling. Let NNPC keep determining the price so that we can import, you can sell. No wahala. The day you tell them you're doing this in at 400, and we're selling for them for 1,000, which they are making our money. Hmm. I can guarantee you, they'll tell Dangote, they'll find one thing, NMPR will tell, oh, the quality of Dangote, this thing, is, uh, it has one, inf- somebody will go and put chemical that will not work. Somebody inside Dangote factory, they'll give him chemical to put there. They'll go and do the test in front of you and tell you, see, this patch has shown that Dangote refinery doesn't produce the right quality. Oh my shot, you're down. 
they go shut them down. Thank you so much. As if they talk, they will, they, they, will, they debate the case, they, will, they don't finish. That's how they will close that. So Dangote will never, never release the price. God bless you. Let me Rather, you he, will give, he will give NMPC stake hmm. or give the presidency stake and maintain his business in peace because he understands that is how they work. Wow. I'll take just one more before we call it a, a night, okay? You know, as usual, I would love to actually, you know, continue to speak to you uh, all night but because we are timed. Again, thank you very much for always adding your voice like others, okay? Oh, thank you. Have a good one, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. You take care. Um, I've got yeah. one, just one caller. Our time is so past now. Uh, just yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. My mother. Yes, sir. How are you? This, this is Top Web Balala from Canada. Sir Topi, thank you so much uh, you know, call. uh, for calling in, please. You have just less than five minutes yourself because our time is so kind of gone now, you know. Please. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rush it. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, what I want to say is, uh, the case of Nigeria is like a man that wake up and went to Babalawo. Hmm. When he got to Babalawo's house, Babani kilo wa she o mommy. Ala aru ni eni eni toji la ro ise aru longba o. Oda do babalo wan ise wo lo wan kilo nfe o lo nfe se ogun awure e mo pe alaru to ba se ogun awure ori apa awure iya beru ori apa aji wonu ori only problem nigeria now because we are not supposed to be discussing this now by now everything should have been scattered everybody go their own way we should be discussing about how the Yoruba nation is going to be developing by now, how Igbo will be developing their country, how the Aousas will be developing their country by now. Mm. Nigeria has a population of 240 million, Baba. 10% of 240 million is 24 million. That's right. 1%, 1% of Nigerian population is 2.4 million. That's right. The all police in Nigeria and soldier, I, I don't think they are up to one million. No, they are All not. the police and, and soldiers they in Nigeria. Those ones in reserve, they are not up to that. I'm telling you, that means even the president, the governors, the share share chairmen of local government, the senator, Boba Anton that Nigeria Lamu one million Baba. The people that is that is that don't feel well, like, 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 240 million people like, like, like. they are not up to 1 million hmm. so the, 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 my point is this during the election you say that even though they rigged the election against Obi mm -hmm. he still had 6 million votes after they undermined his vote hmm. Atiku had over I think 7 million votes yeah, now 6.9 million they allocated to him do you know that the people that voted for Ubi yep. can liberate Nigeria? They can turn the number. whole country upside down mm -hmm. with that number. Nigeria doesn't need more than 1% of their population to liberate Nigeria. Did, if you are waiting for the whole 240 million to emerge and come on the street and say, no, we don't want to, we are we deceiving are ourselves. Mm. It's, not, it's never going to happen. The whole population, even... 20%, 30% of Nigeria, they are not going to agree that we want a change. You don't need that, that, that much. You need only like even just 10% of the whole population of Nigeria or even 1% of the whole population of Nigeria. 1% one, 1 is 2.4. The 2.4 million people can hold Nigeria down. How many states do we have? We have 36 states in Nigeria. If you divide 2.4 million people in 36 states, we are going to have yeah, over I like you can still five, get, uh, up to 100,000 each. People, yeah, yeah, each in each state. You don't need more than that. And that Shut down the state of, uh, government. 100,000 is a lot of people. That's it. Shut the shut down the whole the whole sector, local government sectarian government office. Six states as well. 
you can just have them in like yeah. half of their staff of Patisi State alone, right? It will shake. It's and enough. Be impactful. I it's agree. The, it, it will shake down, lock everything down. If they are moving soldiers from Lagos to Ondo State, yeah. before they go get to Ondo State, they're going to cross Oyo, they will cross Ogun, they will cross Oshu. Don't let them pass. Exhausted. Let it be happen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Shut down all those roads. No movement. Shut, shut the old western part. Shut it down. Two weeks. Let them now start using soldier the helicopter to fly soldier down. Let's see. Let's see how easy that is. Mm. Make sure we shut everything down for two weeks that we don't want this government again. We don't want this nation. We want to go. It's simple. It's simple. But I don't, I don't, I don't see it happening because Nigerians, Nigerians have shock absorber, Baba. If kerosene very, is very expensive, if kerosene, they call it a copium. If kerosene, if Avi, uh, if kerosene is is too much, if the price of kerosene goes up tomorrow, they will convert to you know. They have already, sir. A kerosene if, in Nigeria. You remember when the kerosene used to be uh, twenty five naira per liter, fifty naira per liter, eh? Now, a kerosene yeah. in Nigeria, they don't, they don't even use that anymore. They've changed to gas. A kerosene, a liter of kerosene in Nigeria is almost 800 naira now. No joke. Oh. Almost 800. No, people know they even it, use them anymore. They are now using cooking gas. It's that too. It's crazy. It's mental, man. It is. Hi. So, we, we just have to continue to do what we, we can do and try to at least sanitize the people, educate them. Maybe one day, one day it will happen. Hit them well, but mm. but as I am as I am seeing things now, Baba, even if they change liter of pe petrol to five thousand naira per liter, I want you to I want you to make money. Pay I want to be more to to get to do more to be taking sharing. That is Nigerians for you. Wow, wow, it's crazy. It is what it is. Thank you so much, uh, Sato Pi Baba. I appreciate. Okay, I should get it, Baba. All right, Baba. Uh -huh. Continue again and see how it goes. Meanwhile, this week, those people who are watching this from Nigeria should know this is going to be an interesting week. Number one, the NLC are planning to start a nationwide their protest, and I hope they are not going to make announcement of it like usual. If you don't re return the price of petroleum, we are going to start strike or whatever it is. There are so many things uh, expected to happen this uh, week, and I will be here to report them. Right? So you don't have to like my ego. As long as you are listening to what my ego is saying, you don't even have to agree with me. You will remember the diary and everything we've actually shared here. Right? And when they begin to play out too, hopefully, those of you who have uh, joined to say this is unacceptable, this shouldn't be happening, you wanted something different, you won't become those who will be defending them then and say, oh, don't let us burn down our country. These guys have burned down Nigeria, literally. People are already dying, right? So if anybody is telling you not to burn down Nigeria, not to burn, you are not burning down Nigeria. They've burned down Nigeria already. You just, you're not just seeing the smoke, right? So maybe you will then make us see the smoke. The real victims will make us see the smoke. And as we know, most of these guys will run away when the shit is the fan. Like Michael has said, they are laughing at you now, laughing in your faces. What are you going to do? That's what they're saying. Anyway, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No pain, no gain crew. Eh? AT crew, no pain, no gain. Hope you know what you are going to gain after this pain. So to the team of a tea pain, whatever this is, your own tea added to the pain. This week is pregnant like this. And I will be here to report it when it delivers or it doesn't. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And you have a wonderful week, all of you. Good night. Maye gun la wa mo la mo do 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 Maye gun diary
o fo lohun so e ba kilebu lo to olododo ilu oja ilu momo ni iwo sa ma sora ko si mo beru mo ta le ri boni segun le kawo momo fi se ra won ni o ti dehun ti won gbodo si mo be eh e ku obo lo mo ba de ro taje o gbodo je o ti do ba lori abinu eni ko si mo kuya ai si wolu ni eni ke igodi eyin la bara o o ku eni to ba dan wa ka mu ma le o ti se Bobo, I tell you, I'm a 